This poem is called Manet's Olympia, and it was inspired by um, an 1863 painting by Manet called Olympia, uh, which was considered really scandalous at the time. Um, it features a naked woman lying on a bed with um, her black maid standing behind her, holding a bouquet of flowers. And uh, the poem opens by focusing on the main figure, but then it switches to being about the maid. Manet's Olympia. The orchid in her hair won't fold or furl. The string at her neck is tied in a knot for safekeeping. The stack of pillows she leans on is a towering poof, stiff as a meringue. It means liberties won't be taken. Her maid hears everything there is to hear from the other room, which isn't often. The bouquet stays in paper. The silk-fringed shawl lies untouched on the back of the chaise. The bed linen keeps its disarray. Her eyebrows frame a question that hasn't been asked. In her face, discontent and patience. The rest of the morning dangles like the opaline drop on her cuff, fire clouded over. When will anything happen? The waiting goes on like a vat of amber being poured out slowly, coating them. The clock chimes faintly from the other room. The cat in the corner rises to the occasion. It hears something coming. The maid thinks of cream cakes and breaking the rules. Her voluminous apron conceals a multitude of plots, none of them hers. She'll replay them later. Her eyes betray nothing of her nascent rebellion. Her hands shape quenelles into uniform spheres. She doesn't want to sit in state like a pope or simper in parlors. Her attention to detail is wasted on mending. She'd like to seize the day, but the day won't let her.